Late former Governor General Sir Clifford Darling, who passed away last week, was a former taxicab driver who served as General Secretary of the Bahamas Taxicab Union for eight years and then President for ten years. He was instrumental in bargaining with hotels for better treatment for taxi drivers and was one of the leaders of the general strike of 1958, fighting for equality for Bahamian workers. Today, taxi drivers at the airport remember this nation builder who was responsible for the career choices of many of them. Arginia Noel has the story. He led the fight for taxi cab drivers back in 1957, blocking the entrance to the international airport, all in an effort to ensure that taxi cab drivers were favored the same as tour operators. These taxi drivers tipped their hats off to the former Governor General, who paved the way for their livelihood today. Mr. Clifford was a wonderful man. He's a no-nonsense man, and uh, he stand up for justice. And um, he's a man of God, and um, he was in the forefront of the taxi drivers when they had the um, strike and seeking justice for all mankind. And he'd done wonderful things for the cab drivers. He paved the way. He was a good leader because he was president of the taxi union, and he would cause the strike because you find at that time the UBP, they was in power, and they was given... No taxi could have get a job from the airport. They would have to. They was getting it all to the tall company. They was getting it all to the tall company, and so that was in fear. And the younger drivers who did not serve in that era say that Sir Clifford's rich legacy leaves big shoes for them to fill. We have to, you know, let no let nobody push push you over because he, he really fought and it hurt to see that what he fought for, it go right in vain. So it, it more protect the taxi drivers so we could um, keep on the legacy and keep fighting for the rights of the taxi drivers. Though small in number, female taxi drivers say that Sir Clifford's courage to stand up for justice inspired them to enter the profession that has proven to have some positive benefits. Former Vice President Cheryl Fox Ferguson. At this time, I would like to thank um, Sir Clifford Darling. I have condolences to his family, from behalf of my family and the taxi drivers, for paving the way for people like myself and women in this country. We have quite a bit of women who, this is where they make their money to feed their families. Back at his old stomping grounds at the International Airport, taxi cab drivers remembered Sir Clifford Darling for his hard work and dedication to the cause. They said his memory will live on forever. Chinea Noel Ferguson, ZNS News.